So I'm first starting off with two different sized embroidery hoops. Now this part is completely optional since these are two different colors. I did decide to paint mine. So I am using Waverly chalk paints in the color ink and I'm just painting both of these embroidery hoops inside and out. And once those are painted, go ahead and allow those to completely dry. I then got this honeycomb fabric from Hobby Lobby and using the larger embroidery hoop. I'm just gonna place that fabric right inside, make sure it is nice and snug. Go ahead and just start tightening up that embroidery hoop and then flip it on its backside so that way you could start cutting off all of that excess fabric. Easy peasy, now go ahead and put that embroidery hoop aside. And now I'm gonna grab the smaller embroidery hoop. And for this one, I grabbed this natural burlap fabric, also from Hobby Lobby, just doing the same thing, placing it onto that embroidery hoop, make sure it's nice and snug, tighten the embroidery hoop, and then cut off any of that excess. Now to hold these two embroidery hoops in place, I'm just intertwining the tops of them and I'm going to be holding these together using a zip tie. And go ahead and put those aside. Next, I grabbed some of these wired hangers. Go ahead and cut the tops of those right off. Kind of hard to see, but all I'm doing is straightening out the hanger as straight as I can make it. And really simple, I am literally just creating a teardrop shape out of that hanger. And again, holding these together using a zip tie. You wanna do a total of four of these. And you want two of them to be larger than the other two. So two small and two large. And now once I had those made, I got this cream colored fabric also from Hobby Lobby. So all I'm doing is placing the fabric down, placing each of the wing on top of it, and I just start hot gluing the fabric all along the hanger. And again, you wanna do this to all four of those hangers. And once you're done hot gluing, if you have any excess fabric along the edges, go ahead and just start cutting that right off. Next, I'll be using some white acrylic paint and a very small paintbrush. And all I'm going to be doing is just adding some circles all along each of the wings. Again, this part is completely optional. I think it came out super cute. So before I attach the wings, the embroidery hoops were very wobbly. So I'm just going to be hot gluing three Jenga blocks right in between them and now these are nice and sturdy. And then go ahead and find good placements for the wings. I do the larger wings at the top and I am hot gluing another Jenga block underneath each of the wings. This is just gonna give it a little bit more support so the wings are not sagging. And then just start hot gluing the wings to the edge of the embroidery hoop and on the Jenga block as well. And then go ahead and do the same thing. Just hot glue those smaller wings right at the bottom. Next, I'm just using some black buttons for the eyes. Just hot gluing those on the smaller embroidery hoop. Then I got these black pom-poms and black pipe cleaners. I'm just twirling the pipe cleaners around something just to give it that nice curly look and then hot gluing the pom-poms right at the top. And then go ahead and just hot glue those right at the top of the smaller embroidery hoop. And to cover that gap in between the small and large embroidery hoop, I just created this fluffy bow. So I did just tie a pipe cleaner around the bow and then I'm just going to attach it just place it around the back give it a good twist and then I did end up adding some hot glue underneath it just for some extra support 
And look at how adorable this bee came out. I had so much fun creating this. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.